Dog boy, where have you been? Running in the grass barefoot, sniffing the fresh breezes, and watching the moon rise. It's summertime, Mr. Dan. Well, you should be here helping your country. Oh, sure, Mr. Dan. How can I help? You can help me keep the Obamacrat socialistas from raising our nation's debt ceiling. Oh, so all the unemployed people can get jobs and feed their families. That's great. Well, no. We'll default, which will cause a global economic calamity of some sort. But it's our best shot at getting rid of the problem. What problem is that? Government. That's the problem, not the solution. Things are bad out there, dog boy. Oh, I know, Mr. Dan. Which means it's a perfect time to starve the beast and get government off our backs. Oh, I was going to say help people. People will help themselves to making money, dog boy. If the government gets out of the way. Oh, you mean so Fortune 500 companies can pay nothing in taxes or get money back? Well, yeah, we've got to reform the corporate tax rate. Oh, you mean so they pay more in taxes, like they did under Ronald Reagan? No, and don't you take Reagan's name in vain. Okay, Mr. Dan. We've got to cut our way out of this mess, dog boy. Tax cuts? Yes. Deficit cuts? Yes. Cut foreclosure help? Yes. Cut infrastructure. Yes. Cut storm tracking. Yes. And refuse to raise the debt ceiling. Yes. Now what, Mr. Dan? We all get rich, dog boy. Um, can you cut me half an apple? I've only got two cents, Mr. Dan. Mr. Dan.